Welcome to RGG News. Tell us what's happening here. What do you do? So, um, I mean, first of all, you're welcome to our stand. Thank you. Um, this is Thai Global Artisans. Okay. Um, and we are organizing the Kente Weaving Expo okay. um, alongside the Volta Fair. Okay. So, this um, activity happening here is actually um, weavers coming from the three regions of Ghana. We have uh, Volta region, um, Ashanti region, and then a northern region weavers here. Okay. Um, they all belong to the Thai Global Artisans, which okay. is a program, an initiative uh, being um, driven by an organization called Pixar Global. Okay. We are doing this in collaboration with um, the master weavers from each region. So in uh, Volta region, we work with TY, Kente, Travel and Tours. In Ashanti region, we work with um, Homida, um, uh, Kente, uh, JK, and the rest. Okay. And in Northern region, we work with Fabulous Smoke okay. as well. Okay. Now, what we do here is that Pixel Global is a not-for-profit organization. And we are basically into enterprise and community development. Okay. Now, these days, everyone is preaching sustainability, uh, sustainable clothing, sustainable fashion. When we look at what we do on the Kente weaving, it's actually a direct um, uh, uh, fit into what is called sustainable products. Okay. So we, we are working with these weavers here. Um, we are looking at three main areas. Okay. We are looking at the livelihoods of the weavers okay. themselves. How can we improve them? To their products. How can we take their product also and then market them? Okay. I mean, link them to the right market, okay. not only locally but on the international front as well. Okay. Then the third one is the communities that the weaver is coming from. You know, they all belong to communities, and sometimes we want to see how these um, arts or these uh, skills here can also have an impact positive impact on, on the communities. communities that they come from. Okay. When the weaver has a, live, a good livelihood or sustained job through this uh, act, then he can be able to take care of his family. He sure. can be able to kind of put his kids in school. Sure. And then the community will also benefit. Uh, I mean, he's able to contribute meaningful to the communities. Okay. So uh, basically, today we are not here to actually sell, okay. but we are here to actually kind of demonstrate the rich cultural um, work okay. uh, that I mean, these weavers carry. Okay. Every weaver here, you see here, is a master weaver. Yeah. They all work, work with, I mean, you can count 20 to yeah. 15 weavers, young weavers that work under them. Okay. And these young weavers all need jobs. Okay. okay. And so what we do is that we help to create jobs, sustain Life the weaving life. tradition, okay. and then promote uh, good livelihood amongst okay. their communities. Okay, because I saw this one looks like the Northern Kente. Mm -hmm. Yes, and this one, I think this one is Ash Ashanti Kente. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, if someone walks in here and asks you to weave um, some Kente for him or her, is it possible? It, it's possible. Uh, it's possible for us to kind of weave. A whole weave, like, cloth. I mean, it takes time. Yes. That's why we also want people to to appreciate the work that is done by these weavers okay. here. It takes a very long time to okay. even make this trip that you see here. Yes. It doesn't just take a day. Okay. It takes sometimes a week to actually weave something like this. Okay. So you can imagine if they have to kind of weave a whole cloth for you, maybe six yards. Okay. It will take, let's say, between, I mean, the, the fastest weaver can do between two weeks to a month. For the whole cloth. For the whole cloth okay. for you to get. So you mentioned um, trying to defeat fast fashion in a way of finding ways to sustain the livelihoods of your weavers. Yes. Where do you source your materials from? So, yeah, that's a very good question. So uh, the materials, some of the materials that we use here are 100% cotton. Okay. We also have rayon uh, materials okay. that are, most of them are imported. Okay. Unfortunately, um, Ghana, or uh, we've not been able to really kind of sustain the yarn production locally. So we've gotten to the state where most of the yarns that are used by these weavers need to be imported. Sometimes it takes months 
for this shipment to come in okay. which delays customers or client orders okay. so as part of the whole initiative we're also looking at the supply chain how can we uh, remove some of the barriers in this uh, supply chain so that one the weaver get the materials that they need two they can produce the right materials to, 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 to serve local and the international market okay. and then also they will be able to, able to get something from okay. their work okay. and so that their, their product wouldn't be bought cheap uh, it takes time to make them so we want people to also kind of appreciate what they do and then pay the right price for them okay so um if um you could leave some information about where the organization is located and then if maybe i'm a weaver out there and i want to join you um i think we would be very very happy yes so um like i said uh, the thai global artisans uh is initiated by pixel global uh, which is an ngo okay. uh we work in the three regions in ghana here uh, we have our offices mostly based in Takrade and then Accra. Okay. But for the for the Thai global work, we work in the three regions. So in both okay. our regions, you can contact T.Y. Kente Travel and Tours. Okay. I mean, he, he, he's, he's one of the master weavers that we work here. In Ashanti region, we also have uh, some of the weavers that we work there. Uh, Ahomida Kente, JK. Okay. These are all people that we work with in Ashanti region. In so, Northern region, Fabulous Smoke is also our, our rep in the northern region so wherever you are if you're a weaver i mean you want to be part of the program uh you're welcome and we we want to also use this opportunity to kind of seek for partnership this is a this is like i mean an art that can employ millions of youth so if we get the right partnership i mean we can be able to create jobs the non-existent job for the youth who are already interested in this art They've, most of them are very good, but because the people are paying cheap for the product, they end up leaving this and then going to the big cities, looking for non-existent jobs. Okay. So if you can get the right partners and the right support to build this program, we are sure that we can transform the lives of these young weavers here. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Yes. So as we promised, to bring you the beautiful sights and sounds, from the sixth edition of the Volta Fair 2023. As you can see, in my beautiful Kente cloth, your queen, Edna. Stay tuned.